Does uh, uninstalling Facebook save battery life on your iPhone? According to I did it. I did it for traveling. I think it saves a lot of time and <laughs> it saves time. Batteries because you're not on it. It doesn't all. suck your brain yeah. dry uh, anyway. <laughs> exactly. But this is Samuel Gibbs writing for The Guardian, and he says 15% or even more. He says up to 20% of the iPhone's battery. Actually, this was uh, on Android. Yeah, I think they're linking to Android Central because yeah. like Russell, one of my colleagues. Yeah, Russell, Russell Holly removed it. Yeah. And in fact, I did the same thing. I, th I use the Mentions app because I'm a verified Facebook user. I don't think it drains as much battery. Um, if but, you pull up the battery usage monitor, like you can, anyone you can, can go tell, to, right? yeah, and you see everything, like it'll say uh, Twitter, uh, 10 minutes on screen, two minutes in the background, Safari, 10 minutes on screen, right. two minutes in the background, Facebook, 10 minutes on screen, four and a half hours on background. So yeah. is that, a, so that's a, so that's a sufficient way to figure this out is just go to the battery settings and look yeah. at what's using up the battery. And so Leo, if you tap on like uh, the little clock face on the right, uh, yeah. yeah, tap on that and it'll oh, tell you on screen that. versus background. Yeah. Yeah. So Mentions uses 7%, 50 minutes, seven, 4 minutes on screen, 47 in background. So a lot of background time is one of the things that's bad, right? Yes. For instance, well, yeah. But it doesn't, but Audible spent 3.3 .3 hours in the background. I guess I listened to a lot of Audible books. So that's fine. If you're actually doing it's only something, 7%, you know it. Right. Like if right, you're listening exactly. to audio, that is, a, that is a legitimate use of background processes. Right. You're getting something out of that. Facebook needs to be on screen for you to get anything out of it. Right. And, Four hours is not an acceptable amount of time. Turn, turn off uh, background downloading, maybe and things like uh, things like that. Sometimes, but then they had that problem where they were enabling. They were I, the rumor has it they were misusing the audio API to sort of stay alive if people were uh, turning off the background. On, on this iPhone six, which gets great battery life, the home and the lock screen are eight nineteen percent of the yeah. uh, battery life. But there's nothing I can I can't turn that off. Obviously, yeah. That, that, like Renee, like that, that's the stuff that I find super offensive. Where if you're just being inefficient, that's one thing. But you have these things where uh, the uh, Apple and other and Google as well take certain pains to make sure that any any app that's be that's idle gets. Uh, minimized and doesn't get to hog CPU resources. So when you add code to say, we're going to play an audio file of a tone that no human can hear <laughs> because the OS will not stop an audio, uh, an audio playing app. That's you, you just, you just, this is a, this is a family show, but you, you, you're, you're a colossal, <laughs> you're, you're, you're just, you, you've just skidded into jerk behavior. Let's <laughs> I, say I am and miffed. This is, this is why that's, that's just ungentlemanly conduct. I, this, this is why I don't have, Facebook apps on any of my devices at all. Yeah. Because I just, I, I believe Facebook to be exactly the sort of company that would do something like that. And darn if they aren't. Yeah. No, and it's the same thing Leo mentioned earlier. Like, again, not apologizing for Facebook, but they have a lot of incredibly awesome engineers who sometimes get an idea, like maybe like the security team did with Error 53, and they, they, they implement it before thinking about the consequences of implementing it. And then, like, it causes a lot of bad press, and they have to roll it back, and it's bad for I everybody. feel a little bad because uh, I recommended a program uh, called Airmail, which I've used on the uh, Apple desktop uh, and really like. And uh, I recommend it as the most powerful iOS, uh, iPhone uh, mail app I've ever seen uh, on uh, yesterday on iOS Today. And it really has so many settings and features, and I really like it. It's, it's a power tool, but yet very easy to use. However, I got home, I have 23% left of my battery for the first time ever. And I realized, oh, AirMail's just been eat hogging the battery like uh, crazy. One so. of the worst things is like, if you ever have a mail account that's got an error, like you forgot to pay your Google accounts bill or they can't reach the server, it, it often will just chug away and drain battery because the radio is just trying to connect and, yeah. and get your mail over and over again. But that's a good tip that look at the battery. That's something new in iOS 9, right? Yeah, so it, well, it got better in iOS 8. It was sort of like the battery shaming that they launched in Mac yeah, came to right. uh, the iPhone. And what they did now with, with breaking it down is it makes it easier to understand because people would see Twitter on top or TweetBot and think, oh, it's a battery hog, not realizing they spent four hours in it today. Right. Uh, so you, you want to compare on screen to background. And unless it is streaming audio, streaming directions or um, like Audible, voice over IP. Yeah. yeah your background should never exceed your, four, your foreground. Certainly not by a factor of three, four, five, ten. Hmm. That's good. Um, and maybe because I had just installed it, that maybe it was maybe you're, somebody's saying, oh, it's probably just because it downloaded a lot the first time. Your entire, yeah. Your startup and that it will be better from now on. Uh, they had had some problems early on. I use Airmail on the desktop and really like it. So uh, they had had some problems early on and uh, they, they said in the update that they had fixed many of the battery issues. So. That's something a developer can do, right? They don't don't try to stick around in the background. Don't don't try to wake the phone up. Yeah, they have a lot yeah, of control I've, over that kind of stuff. 
I don't I, I, I don't want to make a moral judgment. I, I, I but I have to say that this is the same sort of stuff that uh, that uh, uh, web marketers use to say, well, let's see, the user has explicitly told us by by turning on this setting that they don't want to see pop up ads. We're going to find a way to get around that because that's inconvenient for us. Right. So if you're if you're developing an app for a platform that says we are going to make sure that you can't stay in the background if you have nothing to do. We're going to find a way to get around that. That is jerk behavior. And I don't think that if a developer that has decided to or excuse me, that's agreed to implement this is agreeing to be a jerk. They're not just simply finding an efficient solution to a problem. Right. They're just simply saying there is a door that is locked, but we're going to break the window and go through that instead. That doesn't mean you solve the problem of the door. You're still breaking into a house, which is still something you shouldn't be doing.